Are you struggling with broken spreadsheets and disorganized data? Well, thankfully, in 2025, there is a better option. In this video, I'm going to be breaking down for you exactly what Airtable is and how it is going to potentially make your life so much easier and get rid of those annoying, clunky spreadsheets that you're using. If you're interested in getting more organized and streamlining your processes, you don't want to miss this video, so stick around and let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Gareth and this is Gap Consulting, where we help you unlock the full potential of no-code tools and Airtable is one of those leading no-code tools that we use in almost all of our projects. Now in this video, we're going to be talking about how Airtable can help you escape those spreadsheets. But before we get into it, I first want to invite you to join me for some free training. If you are new to Airtable and want to really understand all the fundamentals, we've put together a crash course and you can get it for free at gapconsulting.io slash Airtable dash crash dash course. I'll include a link wherever you found this video. But without further ado, let's hop on into the heart of things. And first, if you're new to Airtable, like I said, this is going to be the video for you. We've got to start off by describing exactly what Airtable is. Now, I started using Airtable over eight years ago, and in those days, it was just a shell of what it's become. Airtable has released an amazing amount of features and new updates over the years that have made it even more powerful. But at its heart, at the core of Airtable, it has been and will remain a database tool, which is far more powerful than a spreadsheet. So let's start there and jump on into my screen. Here is the back end of Airtable. I've signed into my account. And when we go to create any new solution, we can do it from scratch or we can build something with AI. In our case, let's do it from scratch. Everything here is now part of this database. And that's signified by this purplish color here. Everything here is part of this solution. And anything that we build in here, any data that we add, can be connected to all the other parts of that database. And here's where it's way more powerful than a spreadsheet, because this data can talk across itself. You can link things and communicate through formulas in more robust ways than you can in a spreadsheet. In spreadsheets, you have to learn complicated functions like VLOOKUPs and index match. But in Airtable, we can do so much more without the same level of technical expertise. And again, this is a no-code tool, so no coding is ever required. Every table here in Airtable it looks like a tab in a spreadsheet, but every table represents its own set of data. So we could have something like contacts and we could then put some information in here. We could create all the different fields across here and then ultimately link this to another table. Let's say we also had companies and we wanted to track what the relationship was between our contacts and the different companies. We can link these two tables together and this is really the magic of Airtable. We'll connect contacts and companies simply by saying link this table to the other and now we're able to actually reach through sets of data imagine you're kind of reaching through layers of a spreadsheet almost and i'm able to connect something over here to something on the company's table so if we were to go back to companies and actually name this i work for gap consulting well now we see that relationship so when we click over, we see that this is linked to the other and we can bring through all of the other information. So if you had the company website, the company address, the company phone number, we can bring that information in and access it through all these different layers of the data, making it way more robust than a spreadsheet. But that's not all. This is really just the data structuring of Airtable. But where Airtable really shines is when it takes things so much further with its more advanced features. I'm looking at automations and interfaces. Interfaces allow us to build a drag and drop front end element to our database. So let's be honest, you know, most people don't like to look at rows and columns. In fact, spreadsheets freak a lot of people out. Well, thanks to interfaces, we can drag and drop elements of our database and share it with people on our team. And this is where it gets super fancy. We can control what people see and what they can edit 
in the interface. So we give them a better overall user experience and we maintain higher levels of control over the data by allowing them to only see and edit and delete whatever we choose to give them permissions for. So interfaces are a very valuable element of Airtable. And of course, I glazed over automations, the ability to streamline your workflows using if this, then that logic, meaning if something happens, then consequentially, I can automate future steps in that sequence based on automation rules that I build here. So Airtable gives us a lot of flexibility in the way that we access data and also in the way that we automate and streamline our workflows. Let's imagine an example where, okay, we're talking high level right now, but imagine that you built a CMS or a content management system on Airtable. Actually, I have one that we used not too long ago for our own company. So let's dive on in and take a look at what this is all about. So first of all, what is a content management system? Well, it's a place where multiple users can log in and track the production and publication of content within some sort of process. So that could be a blog, it could be video content like this. And so in our particular case, we had this lovely calendar view inside of an Airtable interface, and we were able to access the different elements here. What video are we putting out? When is it supposed to be published? We could expand that record and members of my team could collaborate together and add the different elements in here. We could update the stage. We could uh, link it to different software that we featured in the video. We could add different calls to action like the Airtable crash course. You can even see the thumbnails that my team was able to upload right here in our CMS. So we built this entire system on Airtable, but what if you actually want to then publish your content through some sort of automated process? Well, you might turn to a tool like Webflow. Webflow is an amazing no-code tool that is, as they say, much more than a website builder, but it gives you some really impressive ways to update a website and ultimately an app. But you can see that there are so many different ways that people can use Webflow for enterprise agencies, freelancers, etc. But also if you look at their platform, you'll see that they give you the ability to manage your content at scale. So what does this mean? Let's say that we have 150 different blog records that we've created in our CMS in Airtable, and we wanna somehow integrate that with our front end. When we share that information and the blog gets published or the video gets published, well then how do we actually push that out to our website? That can all be handled with a front end that is built in Webflow. And so how do we pass that information? Well. Here's where we have some options, right? The information itself lives in Airtable, but we want to push it out somewhere else and receive that information, but not only move it one time, also keep it updated. And this is the important asterisk because automation one way is fairly simple and straightforward to build. But if we go back into our CMS in the future and make changes to the title, do we want those to be reflected in our actual blog or in the video that we produce? Most likely, we probably want everything to stay synced together. And that's where a more advanced tool than a straightforward automation is gonna be required. So to unlock the true power of Airtable and really keep data integrated between systems, I would recommend that you also check out a third-party tool called WhaleSync. Now here I am in my WhaleSync account and you can see that I can select apps from a list here and sync them with another data source. So for example, going back to our content management system, we might say, hey, look, we have a situation in Airtable that we then want to connect to Webflow. And so you can look here and find that Webflow, if we scroll down, is an option inside of WhaleSync as well. So again, the reason that you might choose this over a straightforward automation is to keep that information in full sync. A change in Airtable can be instantly reflected then in your Webflow front end and vice versa. If a change is made in Webflow, you can build it so that the sync is bi-directional, meaning that a change in one place will be immediately reflected back in the other 
data set, which is a very unique proposition. Typically, when we're using automations, by contrast, either Make.com or Zapier or any of the other automation tools, well, in those cases, automation is generally one direction and it only occurs under specific triggers. So every little update is generally not going to be the trigger that will pass a new update along. So using a tool like WhaleSync really allows you to take your backend database in Airtable and really push out new potential that you might not have had otherwise by simply integrating directly with another data source. Being able to immediately update the data in either place and keeping it truly synced is Whale Sync's specialty and why I would recommend it for any of these more advanced use cases. So let's take a quick dive into the different tools that Whale Sync integrates with so that we can start to imagine different scenarios that we can connect to and from Airtable. So Airtable, yes, the first option that you'll find here under Affinity, and then we've got Base Dash, Bubble, Copper CRM. Uh, Google Sheets is currently in beta, so anything that you have in a Google Sheet could be directly synced up with Airtable. Uh, HubSpot is in the startup stack here. Notion is another incredibly popular tool that is used quite often in the no-code space. You can build a direct sync with Notion and Airtable. Outreach, Pipedrive, Postgres, and then on some of the pricier plans here, you get Salesforce, Shopify, Stripe, Supabase, Webflow, WordPress, and Zoho. So again, depending on the level of your plan here with WhaleSync, you'll get more or fewer integrations. So that would beg the question, what is WhaleSync's pricing? Well, here on their pricing page, which is just whalesync.com slash pricing, you can find their current pricing. And yes, their business plan does get to be a little pricier, but note that you can start with WhaleSync for as low as $39 a month, and I want to point out that this does start with a two-week free trial. The number of records that you are keeping synced will be part of your pricing plan. So as the number of records goes up, the more data you have, the more this is going to cost on your plan. But of course, you're starting at $39 a month. And you get the most common different connectors here, which includes Webflow, Stripe, Notion, Google Sheets, and of course, Airtable. So a lot is possible on a relatively small budget. You can obviously scale this thing up as well when your company grows and you start integrating a little bit more advanced software. So when you get into the HubSpots and the pipe drives, and then ultimately the sales forces and the Zoho's, you can start walking up through the different tiers. So as a quick recap here, Airtable is a very impressive tool that is capable of helping you escape those spreadsheets. But when you're ready to take it to the next level and have it speak seamlessly with your other tools, things like Stripe, Notion, Webflow, well, it might be time to consider a tool like WhaleSync to keep your data truly up to date. If you're gonna give WhaleSync a try, please consider using our affiliate link that I will share with this video. And I hope you got a ton of value here. If you have questions that we didn't answer, swing by our website. Of course, if you did get value, we'd love a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, but most importantly, keep on building.